Hey guys, welcome back to my kitchen. Uh, today I'm going to do another Mauritian sweet dish. Um, I've had loads of requests for Mauritian sweets for me to make for you guys. So this one is called Gato Coco. It's so unbelievably sweet, but it's really, really easy and perfect to make with kids. Um, it, you know, you can get messy with it and yeah, it's just really, really fun. Right, so here we've got some brown sugar. We've got some vanilla extract and water. We've got a heap of coconut. Now you can use fresh coconut, but for ease I've got desiccated coconut. And then we're going to use some colourings as well, um, and I've got a pinch of salt. So I'm putting in my sugar. Like I said, it's a lot of sugar, and I'm going to add the water to it. And we're basically just going to allow that to melt completely. I am going to add my salt in now, it's just a pinch of salt. And I want to be able to dissolve the sugar entirely and turn it into a syrup. And this is going to take about five minutes. Okay, so that's been on a high boil for around five to eight minutes. Now it's turned into a gorgeous thick syrup. I'm going to add in my vanilla now, just a little bit of vanilla, just to give some flavour. And then in goes all the coconut and we pop that straight in and that's going to soak up in the sugar syrup. And just stir it all up together. Right guys, so we now have three different colours. I've gone for a nice rose pink. That's actually been flavoured with rose syrup as well. Um, and then here I've used like a yellow food colouring. Um, you guys can use the gels, but I couldn't find any here at my mum's. So I've used like her yellow powder. I think she sometimes uses it for like basmati, for like colouring the rice. And then here we have the um, traditional colour, which is the coconut colour, which is literally just the brown sugar. So the best way to do it is to wet your hands. So I've got a little bowl. And then you literally just bring it together in your hands, okay? And you'd like a nugget, and you just do that, and that's it. And you just keep going and making these nuggets. And as they set, they, they harden and they become really crunchy. Right guys, these have set now for about two hours and they've gone really hard. Um, they are really sugary. Hold on. Mm. That really reminds me of the market in Mauritius. My mum's from Fleck and they sell these ones, but much bigger. To be honest, this is like the perfect size because you don't want anything bigger. But they have them about quadruple the size and they're sometimes like bright green, dark brown. That taste of pure coconut. You can really just taste the molasses and coconut together, so yeah. 